guess what we're doing? You guys have been asking and asking and asking for us to do another treat video, so we figured since St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow, we would make a fun green dog treat. What do you think? Want to make some dog treats? Come on, Shelby, we're making dog treats. <laughs> Let's get to it. All right, so this recipe is a little bit different than some of the recipes we do. The first thing you're going to need to do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And if you guys are looking for the written out instructions for this, there will be a link down in the video description. It'll take you to our website. It'll have all those instructions written out. First thing we're going to do is turn some of this stuff into a green juice. So you're going to need either a food processor or a blender. I'm using a blender because that's what I had. You're going to need about a half a cup of fresh mint leaves, about a half a cup of parsley. I have a little bit more than a half a cup here, but I have a little bit less than a half a cup of the mint leaves. Um, you are also going to need some coconut oil. You'll need four tablespoons of coconut oil, but as you can see here, it is a liquid form, so you want to put it in a little container and turn it into liquid. And you're also going to need a quarter of a cup of chicken broth. You're going to need a full cup, but for this part, we're going to take about a quarter of a cup out of there and put it into here. So let's throw all this stuff in here and make some green juice. Let's throw it all in there. Got some of that. I don't want to use all of this. We'll use about this much. Like to try some parsley? Really? <laughs> you wanna, Oakley, you wanna try some parsley? Oakley! Shelby's like, um, I don't know. You want some green stuff? Oh, it's green stuff. Shelby, here. Shelby! Do you like some green stuff? She's like, mm, I know you want it. You want everything. I'm gonna put it in your treat so you don't have to eat it like this. We're <laughs> All right. I guess if you girls wanna eat it. So we add the parsley and the mint leaves, and then we're going to add the coconut oil. And then about a quarter of a cup of the chicken broth. Let's see if I can do this. And about a quarter of a cup, a little bit more. All right, and now we're gonna turn this blender on and see what happens. If you need to add a little bit more of your juice, you can go ahead and do that. I told you we we're gonna make a mess, it's just gonna happen. So there you go. There's our green juice. I bet it smells deliciously good. It looks pretty cool. So we've got our green juice. That was the first step. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. Now that we have our green juice ready, we're going to set that aside for a minute. And now we're going to get out our mixer. And you guys can either use a regular mixer or a KitchenAid or whatever you have to mix the rest of this stuff. You are going to need three and a half cups of organic brown rice flour. And we're just going to put all of that right in here. And then we're gonna add our green juice to the mixer. Holy cow, does that smell funky. Let's pour that right in there. Talk about green, that's pretty green. Wanna lick that? Wanna still lick that? Wanna lick that? Somebody's over there eating parsley. You got green on your nose. You got green all over your nose. You wanna try that, Oakley? Anybody else wanna try the green? Oakley, try the green. She's like, hmm. I'm not sure what I think. Shabby's over there eating parsley. Mix that together a little bit. Now that we've got that mixed a little bit, unlock the KitchenAid. We're gonna add one egg. You can beat it a little bit before you put it in there. Go ahead and start mixing that. And while that is mixing, we're gonna add the rest of our chicken broth very slowly. If your dough is very dry, you can add more liquid. So there is your dough. Now you don't want it to be too wet, but you don't want it to be too dry. You pull it out of here, you can kind of see it's going to form a nice ball. See how none of it's really sticking to my hands? That's pretty much how you want it. So now, we're going to roll this out. Alright, so now you're going to flour your surface, and then you're going to roll out your dough to about third of an inch thick. And if your dough is still a little bit moist and wet, you can, what are you doing? You can add a little bit more flour to it. You weirdo. So we're gonna, it's just a little bit wet, so we're gonna add a little bit more. And make sure that your surface is nice and floury. You're trying to eat the dough. What are you doing? Would you stop? And you want them to be about third of an inch to a quarter of an inch, somewhere around there. Now, you can cut this into any shapes you want. We actually have a clover we're gonna use to cut ours. 
pretty much push it down, cut them out. All right, now we're gonna pop them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Try some. Try some. Try some. Mm -hmm. Come here, Shelby. Try some. It's like, hmm, they're green. Is it green? All right, we'll make one more and then we'll bake these for you. There's what they look like when you take them out of the oven. They will be a little bit crackly, um, but they look good. Now we gotta let them cool. Now don't jump up here and try to steal any, Missy. You neither. You're the one I know is gonna try it. So we better dog proof the stove. All right. You wanna try one without frosting? Get your foot down. You wanna try one without frosting? Okay, fine. You wanna try one without frosting? She's like, I'm gonna take mine in there. Well, apparently they're crunchy enough. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some frosting. And this time we're gonna use Fido's frosting. It's natural yogurt royal icing for pets. There will be a link down in the video description on where you can buy this. Um, it's something new, I'm trying it for the first time. Found it on the internet, thought it looked pretty cool. Thought we should try it. So what we're gonna need to do is I'm only making a little bit. So you're gonna use a half a cup of powder and one tablespoon of water. I also bought some food coloring from the same place. So we're gonna add a little bit of emerald green food coloring to this also. So we're gonna mix the powder in with this little bit of water here. Add a little bit of food coloring. I don't want it super green, just a little green. And we're gonna stir it together. So there's about what it looks like all together. And this frosting should dry hard actually. Right, so I am just going to take a spoon and kind of spoon a little bit on here and spread it around. My phone's going off. I'm just going to spread a little bit of frosting on these cookies. I'm sure there's probably a better way to do this than a spoon, but since I have a spoon handy, that's what I'm using. <laughs> when filming, always remember to keep your camera steady because uh, mine just fell over. Want to try some frosting? I like to try some yogurt frosting. Memphis, you want to try? <laughs> Luckily, you have green all over you. Try some yogurt frosting. I guess I'll try some too. Tastes like yogurt frosting. That's actually pretty good. Hmm. Well, now we're gonna let these dry, even though I broke a couple with the camera. And shortly, we'll let them try them. Well, the frosting is dry. They look pretty good. Time for the taste test. Well, they all seem pretty interested, so they must smell good. One to Memphis, one to Oakley, and one to Shelby. Memphis is going to finish hers first, of course. She's a little pig like that. They look like they're a little bit crunchy. So say, Shelby, let me guess, frosting side down? There you go, you got it now. Oakley's doing pretty good. She's liking hers. Shelby is finishing hers up. You got frosting on my carpet. Apparently it wasn't super dry, huh? <laughs> What do you think, Oakley? Was it good? What do you think, Memphis? Was it good? Shelby's like, is there more on this plate? Well, there we go. Uh, let us know if you guys try making these treats for your dogs. Uh, as always, if you go to our channel page, actually, there'll also be a link on the video here. We have an entire playlist of a bunch of different treats that we've made for the girls. If you want the entire recipe, there'll be a link down in the video description. Let us know if you end up making these for your dogs. Our dogs seem to enjoy them. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh, and by the way, there just might be a bonus video this week on Tuesday, so be sure to come back Tuesday, check out this channel, and see if there's a bonus video for St. Patrick's Day. I have a feeling there will be. <laughs> thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye!